Welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we'll see the importance of proportional integral controller. So in the last video, we saw the different type of controllers which are used in control system. So PI controller was one amongst them. And PI controller, uh, as you can recall, is used to decrease the steady state error. And it will keep the stability of the control system intact. That it will not harm the stability uh, while decreasing the steady state error of the control system. Okay. So let's see with an example how PI controller will help us with the steady state error. Like how it will improve the steady state error of our control system. Okay. So let's see. Okay. We have G of S. 2 upon s square plus s plus 2. So this is a, a transverse function system G of S. So it is in the it has uh, it is in the closed loop system okay with the unity feedback. This is a unity feedback control system with G of S 2 upon s square plus s plus 2. So we give the input R of S which is unit step function in this case. So this is unit step input, unit step input. So what we get output is nothing but step response because we are giving a step input, unit step input. So we get a step response. Okay. So if you have seen my video about how to calculate steady state error, uh, so those of you who are not aware about calculating steady state error can watch that video. So we have uh, R of S as 1 upon S. This is a step input. Okay. So we have G of S. So we can calculate the steady state error in the output with this formula. That is ESS which is equal to limit of S tends to 0 S into RS upon 1 plus G of S. So if you do that we get limit of s tends to 0 s into r of s is 1 upon s which will be cancelled we will get 1 upon 1 plus g of s so 2 upon s square plus s plus 2 so you put s equal to 0 because we are in interested in limit of s tends to 0 so if you put s equal to 0 we get ess is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon s square is 0 plus s is 0 plus 2 so we get 2 2 cancelled 1 so 1 by 1 plus 1 this is 1 upon 2 so steady state error is 0.5 okay so we have steady state error of 0.5 in this control system block for that is we have a transfer function with uh, g of s 2 upon s square plus s plus 2 and we are giving input step input that is it will have value 1 then it means in the steady state we get output of 0.5 so the error is 1 minus 0.5 which is equal to 0.5 which we calculated here so I will show you the step response of this uh, transfer function so you can correlate with the gra graph as well like how the step response looks like for this overall control system block that is closed loop system okay so let's see that so we have g of s which is 2 upon s square plus s plus 2 so we give the input that is step input to the control system block that is closed loop system so this is the output looks like this is what output looks like okay c of s as you can see in the steady state it has reached the value only up to 0.5 okay it is already here so steady state output is 0.5 whereas your input is somewhere here 0 0.8 0 0.91 okay this is the input so this is the steady state error steady state error which is 0.5 so 
we have a problem with the steady state error so there is a significant steady state error in a control system block so we need to make use of proportional integral controller so it is known to improve the steady state error means it will decrease the steady state error so let's see how in by introducing pi controller in a control system how the steady state error will vary okay so let's see that so to do that we need to introduce pi controller in the forward path of a initial control system block so we had g of s in the unity feedback loop so now what we should do we should add pi controller in the forward path okay so overall our transfer system block looks like this so this is output c of s and this is our input r of s which is step input okay let's see with the neat diagram after introducing pi controller okay so to decrease the steady state error of a control system we have introduced the proportional integral controller this is pi controller so let's see we have gc of s equal sorry we have g of s as 2 upon s square plus s plus 2 let's say the pi controller has transfer function 1 plus 1 upon s so if you saw my previous video we saw about the general trans function of pi controller it looked like kp plus ki upon s so for just simplicity i have used kp equal to ki equal to 1 in this case so we have gc of s equal to 1 plus 1 by s so the overall open loop trans function of this closed loop system now looks like this uh, let's say G conjugate uh, not conjugate concatenate so concatenate or something is equal to G of S into GC of S so if you multiply these two we get this is S plus 1 upon S so let's do that let's multiply these two 2 upon square plus s plus 2 into s plus 1 upon s so we get 2s plus 2 upon s cube plus s square plus 2s okay so you can either simplify this or keep it like this so while studying steady state error of uh, different for different inputs and how it will vary with different type of control system we saw that if the type of control system if the type of control system is equal to 1 then steady state error ESS is equal to 0 for unit step input so this was an important conclusion made there is a tabular column where we see different types of input and different types of system like how the steady state error will vary okay so by introducing PI controller in the forward path of a control system initial G of S we have effectively made the steady state error equal to zero okay so so let's see the actual step response to see what happens by including this s plus 1 by s in the forward path okay so theoretically we already know that if the type of system is 1 then steady state error is equal to 0 you can refer to the blog uh, in the description for the tabular column where it will say what is the steady state error for different type of inputs and how it will vary with the type of control system 
and also I told you in the previous video that by increasing the type of the system that is type of the system refers to the number of poles at origin okay type of control system is nothing but number of poles at origin so in this case there is one pole at the origin s equal to 0 so the type of control system is 1 so the steady state error is equal to 0 so let's see the step response of our control system at that time we'll know how it has improved in our case the steady state error without this block was equal to 0.5 now the steady state error is equal to 0 that is if you give input 1 that is step input the output will eventually go to 1 ok let's see that so this is the step response of a control system G of S into GC of S that is the product of both the actual trans function and the PI controller so after introducing the proportional integral controller in the forward path of a control system we have achieved the steady state error of equal to zero that is there is no error in the steady state response so this is the transient response up to here okay as you can see the output is fluctuating whereas input was the constant one like let me draw the input here so the input was somewhere like this I'll draw a little down just to just so that you can see the output also so this was the input now initially like there was a transient response and finally it has settled so the steady state output is now equal to 1 so thanks to proportional integral controller okay and the, the, it has not affected stability in any manner this is just the transient response so it will take some time to settle so that's fine so finally we have achieved the output of equal to 1 output equal to 1 so our input was 1 and the output is instead of earlier it was just it the transient response was near 0.7 and then it settled at 0.5 okay now in this case it has reached the output equal to 1 though so there is no steady state error so if you want a zero steady state error or less steady state error you should think of introducing proportional integral controller okay so i hope you understood the importance of proportional integral controller by watching this video so we'll see the roles of different controllers in uh, coming videos okay so thanks for watching the video guys kindly subscribe and uh, visit the website and if you have any doubts please use the comment section thank you